Queen Camilla wowed in a regal blue coat dress for her and King Charles' final state appearance at Buckingham Palace with the South Korean President and First Lady. President Yoon Suk Yol and his wife Kim Kion Hee have been in the UK for a state visit, and are due to fly back to Seoul this afternoon. On their last day, the President and First Lady visited the Churchill War Rooms in central London before making their way to the palace, where the King and Queen bade them farewell. This year marks the 70th anniversary of the Korean War, making the military connections on this visit particularly poignant. On Tuesday, the first official day of the visit, the couple laid a wreath at the Korean War Memorial with them later being taken to Westminster Abbey to see the grave of the unknown warrior. Click here to join our WhatsApp community to be the first to receive news about the royal family at the start of the day the visitors were joined by the King and Queen and the Prince and Princess of Wales to inspect the guard at Horse Guards Parade, before they were taken to lunch at the palace. Afterwards the King took the President and First Lady to view a special exhibition in the picture gallery of items relating to South Korea that are kept in the Royal Collection. While at the Abbey President Yoon Suk Yol and First Lady Kim Kion Hee met with pensioners who had seen active service during the Korean War. The Cullen Express Premium Member Support Fearless Journalism Read the Daily Express Online Advert free get super fast page loading start 30 day free trial following a visit to the Houses of Parliament an official Buckingham Palace banquet was held on Tuesday night in honour of the South Korean state visit. Princess Kate looked wondrous in white Jenny Packham, but it was the Strathmore tiara in her head that really turned heads, as the intricate floral design has not been worn in public for nine decades. Duchess Sophie was there too also in white as she won praise from royal fans for re-wearing her coronation dress from Susanna London and her aquamarine tiara.